What's up guys? This is Xpotics and I am playing Vanguard just by myself because this test I'm gonna be doing adding filters to the game. Okay, I'll just show you uh, briefly what are my um, uh, my settings. Okay, so I have a 9900K and a Dell 4090. Um, yeah, so I'm on a uh, M28U which is a 4K 144 hertz IPS panel, 28 inches. Um, everything is maxed out and no DLSS um, at 100% render scaling. Um, see, everything is the highest that it can go. No ultras here. Um, actually, one setting might, might changes every once in a while. Yeah, this this changes every once in a while. I don't know why. This the sun uh, shadow, yeah thing. Okay, so um, so it's maxed out. No DLSS. Uh, no no in, um, and it also changes that sometimes too. Okay, so there. Everything is maxed out now. And I'll show you guys what I am getting. Uh, let's go in a different area. Let's go where it's a little... I love this map. It's so cool. <laughs> the car on fire. Okay, let's just go like right here. It's kind of like in the... There's tons of stuff going on, kind of, without, without being any like explosions and stuff. But one, 168, 170. So 170, okay? So you press Alt if you have an NVIDIA card, okay? Um, Alt F3. Don't do Alt F4. <laughs> so guys, when I was doing the Vanguard video, um, I noticed that I was re-watching and make sure it was good and stuff, and I noticed that it wasn't showing you guys what I was seeing in the NVIDIA overlay, so Alt F3. This is an example just of uh, Rocket League, obviously. That's what it looks like. So you get your, um, you know, Vibrance, you get your, um, I was doing, uh, now Vibrance is showing up, I don't know why. Um, so I did Paint. Painterly, uh, I did Sharpen Plus, I think, and I did a watercolor. So yeah, I did all these type of things. You can make any game that supports it, which is a lot. I, 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 I could, uh, I'll have the, uh, if I find like a huge list of all games supported, I'll have that in, uh, in the description. Okay, and then you go to, uh, okay, so there's no filters right here. I'm gonna add RTX Dynamic Vibrance here. And let's see what that drops. So let's say 170, okay? Uh, let's let's intensity. Let's go like 50. Let's go 50 around that 50 mark, okay? So didn't really lose any FPS. Maybe one, maybe yeah, one maybe. I, I enabled it. Oh, it didn't save. It didn't save. Uh, this filter. Um, oh, what's wrong? What is wrong here? Okay, now it's saved. Okay, now it's saved. Uh, yeah, it's a little bright. Uh, I lost about what I was looking over here. I'll look in the middle right here. So I lost about five FPS doing that. Okay, let's add another one. But then there's no... Usually the active filters are right here. So I don't... Oh, you know why? I'm a silly billy sometimes, guys. You have to press the plus. Plus. Okay, there we go. Should be good now. Right? Watch, it's not saved. Nope, it's not saved. Come on. Plus. Yes, this filter will be applied. Okay, cool. That's what I want. Okay, so now let's try to... Uh... Uh, painery, painterly. Let's try that too. Oh, okay, that one definitely. Wow, I'm getting 66 FPS now. But, you know, it's kind of cool, right? It makes the game kind of, um, you know, it's a certain look to it. But yeah, really, really hard on the on the frames right there. It's hard to see them, but yeah, 66 FPS. Ouch. Okay, so it just looks like there's one mode, but then it also changed lighting and stuff too. So I don't know why. Uh, let me see. Um, let's try another one. Uh, sharpen plus. Okay, so now I have the two. And then I don't know about the RTX dynamic. It looks like it, it accepted it, but it's not in the same thing. So anyways, uh, let's go to sharpen. Uh, let me just see what it looks like first. So it did sharpen the text and everything. It did sharpen stuff a lot. Uh, and it's even harder to run. <laughs> um, let me, can I like, 
make this uh, painterly? Can I make it a little less uh, intense, I guess, the word? Sample directions go like four radius. Ooh, okay, yeah, that definitely, the radius, it really changes everything. So let's go like three on the radius. Um, what's the sample? Okay, it does something, I don't know if, let's go eight, I guess. And then let's sharpen it a little bit too. I've actually used a sharpening tool in another game because just default, the game was just not that sharp looking. So I use this um, sharpen plus, I think I use this exact one. There's another sharpening tool, but I use a sharpening tool just to crank it just a little bit and it dramatically made it uh, the game look better. So, but it does hit your frame rate a little bit. So, um, okay, so let's go back into it. Uh, yeah, it does still have that painting look to it a little bit, like kind of a good amount, but um, and it does hurt your frame rate a lot. So yeah, like you can never have enough power. I wish these guys move, that'd be kind of cool. That'd make it even harder to run. But if they're actually like real people and you're just giants, but yeah, it definitely um, is much harder to run and uh, you know when you add all these things, but if you have more than enough power and you can just lightly tune something, like you never have enough power, really. There's people like sometimes you see, uh, or is a 4090 overkill? No, there's an, even if it was like a hundred times better, you could just up the super scan sampling, do like 8, 8K, 144, um, add, instead of looking like this and rendering that, more like render the whole map, have the whole map, have the whole game in your VRAM, you know what I mean? Like there's never enough power. It can always be improved. Um, but yeah, there's uh, that painting thing, man. That's that's really hard to run. Let me let me just turn that one off just because how demanding it is. Um, actually, does it? how much does it change when I just go like almost bare bones? Like just barely. Does it tank my FPS still? No. That's easier to run. I gained 30 FPS. Nice. Okay, so I'll do that and still have like a little painting thing. I keep on going to that. Sorry. Um, okay, so let's go um, to um, special effects. What is that? I could do watercolor too. <laughs> Ow. Uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, this one? I don't want that one. Uh, oh, there we go. Delete that one. Watercolor. Let's tune it just a little bit. Exposure, it's too much contrast, saturation. I want some color, man. Where's my color? Oop, gamma. Oh, God, it's... Okay, this is just rough. Okay, there we go. Give us some color, saturation, yeah. Okay, exposure. Man, like, great. Right there, maybe, contrast. Something like that, maybe? Okay. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, it's so rough looking. But if you like the look of it, it almost... Guys, this reminds me of um, Borderlands. A little bit. It reminds me kind of like Borderlands, like the outline of stuff. And it, 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 it's like a, if Borderlands made a Call of, or, um, Call of Duty, like, teamed up with Borderlands. It looks very similar. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, 93 FPS. Oh, the game um, aired out for some reason. I can't even read it. Lost uh something to host that's nice okay but yeah that's pretty much it guys um you can if you have an nvidia card um alt f3 to mess around with different effects and if you can just tune something and if it takes away 20 fps but if you're getting save a 144 hertz monitor for example and you're getting like 170 180 you're like let's just tune it a little bit i mean not tune it but like let's add a filter to make it look kind of like a different game diff something that unique and just tune it just a little bit so you're still getting your performance and certain things obviously hit harder like the painting one and everything but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that and uh peace out